YouTube, Joseph Homer here today. I'm out in the garage and uh, I gotta get this wheelbarrow tire fixed. It's uh, if you own a wheelbarrow, you know what I'm talking about. It's some some guns flat, and much I hate to say it, wheelbarrow tires are junk. Um, <laughs> if you buy a new wheelbarrow, buy one with a with a flat free one of those solid tires because these air tires are just you get about one season out of them, they start leaking, and you can put a tube in them, and sometimes it helps, but they're just junk. So I went to buy a solid tire this morning for this thing. And the local Lowe's wants forty dollars for a solid tire. I can't, I can't justify spending forty dollars on a solid tire when I could buy a new wheelbarrow for fifty. That's just ridiculous, and I don't want to spend forty bucks right now. So we're gonna try something else. This is some tire aid, tire and tube sealing. Uh, probably something similar to slime or. Uh, there was a camel stop. It was a flat fix. I've seen there's uh, probably not as good as say like tire jack. I've never used that. I've seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never used it. But we're gonna put a bunch of this in this tire now. Sorry. Do me a favor. While we get into this, hit the subscribe button down there if you haven't already. If you already have, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notifications on any of my upcoming videos. And please don't forget when it's all over, rate the video. Share it with some friends, um, and don't mind the comments of the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> Share it with some friends, and uh, as always, if you have questions, drop them down in the comments section. Now, a few things taken into consideration. I do not recommend this for vehicle tires, on-road car tires, truck tires, whatever. Um, from somebody that works in a shop. I can tell you right now, if you bring a vehicle tire into me, if you bring any tire into me, ATV tire or anything else, and it's full of this stuff, I will charge you extra to change that tire because it makes an absolute mess when you break them down, and I have to clean it up after you leave. I've got a machine, you know, there, there'll be a several thousand dollar machine that is just absolutely covered in this stuff because when you open the tire up, it goes everywhere. It stays as a liquid in the tire. But aside from that, on-road vehicle tires, I don't recommend it because it does stay as a liquid in the tire, so it will definitely make that tire more difficult to balance on a balancing machine uh, because it, every time it stops rolling, it runs to the bottom of the tire, and then it does take a little bit of time once it starts spinning to even out and actually self-balance. Second thing, um, ATV tires, go-kart tires, wheelbarrow tires, anything off-road, yeah, go right ahead. I mean, this stuff is great. If you've got thorn trees in your area or whatever, this thing, this stuff will seal up the punctures. Real quick, I'm actually going to take the tire off the wheelbarrow because I've got to replace a bearing in it as well. So you don't have to do that. All you have to do is take the valve core out. But I'm going to get the tire off real quick. And then once I get the tire off, I'll be back to show you exactly how to put it into the tire. So hang in there, guys. So this is the flat stop. Some of these, this one does, comes with a valve core tool underneath the cap. So if you get it open, you can pop the tool out. And it's a cute little valve stem cap. Now this tire already has a tube in it. So hopefully you guys can see this all right. If you take your valve core tool, take the end with the little slit in it there, and drop it right down into the onto the valve stem and you just thread it out and it'll pull the core out. Now you have to pull the core out in order to squeeze the liquid in. Okay. Now we're just going to set the core off to the side. Now you don't have to take the tire off to do this. You can do this you know with the tire on whatever it's on. Uh, I just took the tire off one because I needed to replace these bearings and if you saw just a minute ago in the fast forward footage, I actually had to beat these sides in just a, just a little bit 
And to remove the bearings, I just use the, the actual wheelbarrow axle, slide it through there at an angle, smack it with the hammer, and bang, the, the, bar the old bearing braces pop out. Now, this one, you peel that off, and they've got a little protective cap in here that I'm going to have to dig out of there. This will thread nicely onto the top of the bottle. You can take the cap off. Pull the little oh, seal off there. Then you can thread this on. Now, before I took the cap off, I do recommend shaking this up really well because there are solids, suspend, there are suspended solids in this, basically latex particles, and that's what seal the punctures. So in this case, we're not going to use this whole bottle. We're going to use probably about half. You don't probably don't even need half in this tire, but I'm going to use half. Um, just to make sure that it stays sealed up well. Now, on this particular tire, you can get in here. I probably do not need to use the little hose piece. They supply you with a short hose here in the cap. And you can just, you just pull it out. And that short hose is so that if you're trying to do this on a vehicle, you have a little more flexibility. You can put it over this, put it over the top of the valve stem, then you can squeeze it in. Since I've got this one off and it's horizontal or it'll be really easy to squeeze into the tire, I'm not going to do that. I am, however, I'll take a pocket knife, carefully cut the tip of that off so I can get it in the valve stem. Now, you have to keep in mind, even though this tire is flat and it got the core out, there's no pressure in it, there is still air in the tire. And as you try and push this into the tire, you're going to generate pressure inside the tire. So if you can squish the tire down before you insert the bottle, then as you begin to squeeze it in, you can release the tire and it will actually help suck some of this in. And in this case it's got a tube, so the tube's not going to re-expand, but it'll give the tube, I got that air out of there, so that as I squeeze this in, it'll take the place of the air that I squished out. That should be plenty. Now, to keep this from going bad, I'm going to take the little that little cap off. I'm very carefully, going to put my seal piece back on. Then we'll screw the lid down. Oh, I'll sit that off to the side. Now we can put, use a handy little core tool that they gave us, and we're going to stick our valve core back in. And you just want to thread it in until it's snug. You don't have to get crazy with it. Just keep going until you'll feel, you'll feel it stop. It'll get It'll get tight. It's all the way in. Like that. Okay. Now, let me find a rag. I'm going to wipe off the valve stem. Now, I'll show you this stuff up close. Hopefully it'll focus. You can see all the little black stuff. That's all suspended rubber pieces and that's a latex compound. So that when there is a puncture, that goes into the puncture, plugs the hole, and then it dries when it's exposed to the outside air. Okay, now I can put my I'll put my core tool right back up in the lid. That way, next time I need this for something, the core tool is there. Real quick off camera, I'm going to air this tire back up. All right, guys, I got the air. I got this thing aired back up. I got about 30 pounds in it. You see it's got a pretty good goose egg right there on the side. Hopefully it'll show up on camera. I mean this tire's old. I don't know how old it is. I got the wheelbarrow for free. It's got some cracks. We got it aired up. We're just going to get it back on here. And we're going to spin it around. And that'll help to 
that'll help to spread that flat stop around the inside of the tire so that hopefully wherever that hole was we can get the flat stop in it and it'll stop the leak hopefully now you have a better idea that if, if you want to use this flat stop and you see how off balance it's made this tire I'm not doing that I'm just you can see it's all sitting down at the bottom so anytime I roll it up it goes right back around that's why I don't part one of the big reasons I don't recommend using it on the road and especially in newer vehicles I don't even remember recommend fix the flat because of the TPMS sensors. If your vehicle has tire pressure monitors on it, do not use any kind of flat stop or anything in a vehicle because it will destroy those sensors and those sensors are about $80 a piece. So I, I do not recommend that at all. Uh, for an application like this wheelbarrow tire, yeah, go right ahead. It works. It, it, it works great. Hopefully this thing will still continue to hold air. Do me a favor, like I said before, if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button, rate the video. Questions, put them in the comments section. And hit the little notification bell if you've already subscribed. That way you can stay tuned to the channel for all my upcoming videos. And I'll let you know how this works. So, hopefully if you have any questions about it. And that, just so you know, that bottle that I used half of in here cost me ten dollars eleven dollars and ninety cents for tax so eleven dollars and ninety cents versus a forty dollar tire we'll see how it holds up and I still have half that bottle left less than six bucks I guess or right around six bucks is what I spent to fix this tire so that's a lot cheaper than a forty dollar tire and we'll see how it lasts <clears throat> so do me a favor get out there don't be afraid get your hands dirty you might have a little fun doing it we'll see you on the next one